Hi, I'm Jim Self and welcome to my garage. We're here today to talk about the new line of filtration that Bell Ray's launched and show some competitive advantages. Like everything Bell Ray does, we do nothing but the best and we want to show some of the differences in our filters versus some of the ones we commonly see in the marine applications. First, this is a very common filter. Um, a lot of customers buy these in local retailers. Originally designed for automotive use, not really ideal for marine applications, but we do still see them out there. Um, some of the things you want to look at here from a construction standpoint, canister thickness, measuring this with a micrometer. Um, you can see this measures at 18 thousandths of an inch, which is not very heavy. So take a good look here at the filter cartridge itself, the end caps. These are integral to the strength and integrity of the center core, and these are made out of a paper material. The pleating looks pretty good, not nearly as dense in, as some of the others that are offered out here. And then the, the spring here in the bottom, which helps hold this cartridge in place, but also acts as a bypass relief in case this filter become blocked and get excessive oil pressure in there. So this leaf spring steel is fairly commonly used in some of the cheaper filter construction. Moving on now to um, a leading OEM. This happens to be uh, fit a lot of the GM applications out there, which all four of these do. Measuring the canister thickness here, 15 thousandths of an inch there in that particular measurement. And there we're getting uh, one 18 and a half. So a little bit of inconsistency there, but that's not unusual from a deep drawn uh, canister like this. Similar uh, construction features to the previous one. You got the leaf spring steel here for the bypass relief and holding the cartridge in place. Instead of paper, um, they're using a fibrous material here for the end caps. Um, a little bit more filter media here, as you can see. Also, the depth of the pulling uh, looks a little bit deeper. Um, overall, a little bit better construction than the previous one. And moving on to a, a very common aftermarket, measuring this canister thickness here. We're showing 22 and a half thousandths on the micrometer. But some major differences you're going to see here over the other competitors. Um, look at the steel end caps on the center the cartridge. You have a coil spring instead of the leaf spring steel, which is uh, my preference here. Um, overall construction much better. Pleating is not quite as deep. Um, the element itself is not quite as deep, but overall looks to be an upgrade over some of these other filters here. Now let's take a look at the Bellary filter. Canister thickness here, we're getting uh, 24 thousandths. Very comparable. The heavy duty steel end caps. Now compare the depth of these caps to the caps on the, the competitor here. These end caps is what holds the sealant that seals the bottom of the pleats here. So the deeper they are, the more positive seal you have. Also you notice the pleats are much deeper. Allows more capacity. Heavy duty coil spring in here. Um, real heavy duty construction. This is going to be, both of these are going to be much more crust resistant than these filters if they happen to get over tightened or stuck on the engine, which is very common nowadays. You're not going to have to poke this with a screwdriver to get it off and make a mess in the engine compartment. Now we'll move along. I'm going to go ahead and dissect these into more detail and we're going to show you how they, uh, how they lay out side by side with all the internal components. This first sample here that we mentioned is a common retail filter, uh, really primarily for automotive use. One of the big concerns here is once we remove the filter media, there's really no um, structural integrity holding the inner core to, the, uh, to these paper end caps. Moving on down to the, uh, the leading OEM filter here. Again, similar situation. This has a steel inner core where this next one here, it actually has a plastic inner core reinforcement. But again, there's no structural integrity holding these end cap pieces onto the inner core once the filter media is removed. So it's not, these aren't going to have near the uh, structural integrity in a high pressure application. Moving on down here to one of the other aftermarket brands. Again, you'll notice the steel end caps, not quite as deep. But look how much bigger diameter of the inner core this, uh, this canister is. That means the filter media isn't, the uh, pleating isn't nearly as deep, which is going to possibly impact uh, holding capacity. And we move on down to the Bell Ray version here. Uh, steel core, um, deeper end caps, and like the previous one here with the steel end caps, you get a lot of structural integrity. Those are actually welded together um, and holds that core much better. Let's look at the filter media itself. From the first sample down here on the end, you cut this out, you flatten it out, and you measure the square surface area. Um, this actually has 144 square inches. Um, 
That's important because that's really a good measure of how much dirt holding capacity it's going to have before it uh, creates a blockage. The plating is about five, five eighths of an inch deep. Moving on to the OEM sample, you know, stretching this out flat, measuring the square surface area. A little better, 164 inches of surface area, with uh, the pleating three quarters of an inch deep. So this is going to have a little bit more uh, holding capacity. The aftermarket brand that we checked here, kind of in the middle, stretching this out. The filter media is not as deep. The pleating is only a half inch. The overall surface area on this measured 156 square inches. And of course, then there's the bell ray. You know, a little bit larger canister here, um, three quarters of an inch, nice deep pleats on it. And this has a total surface area of 228 square inches. So with this filter, you can have a lot better unrestricted oil flow. We can have as much as 30% um, better dirt holding capacity. So you're going to get a longer service life out of this filter than what you will the competitors. Plus the structural integrity of this filter, it's got a burst pressure that exceeds 300 PSI, which is far more than you're going to see in any marine application. So. Just a little peek inside of what you'll see in uh, all of the Bellray filters. Please check them out. I think you're going to be very happy with the quality and performance of them, and it's going to make your engine run stronger and last longer. So get more details on our website at bellray.com.